time for music. This man has topped the charts for over 50 years and now brings us a brand new album of collaborations. Here performing, after all, with Charlie Puth, it is Elton John! <laughs> Thank you so much, gentlemen. Thank you very much. You want to say, uh, you I'll like to go to the up, children's yeah. table. So oh, I feel like... I'll stand. <laughs> yeah, go stand, stand. Yeah. There you go. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, Graham. Congratulations. The album, the lockdown sessions, that's out today. And this is an album of extraordinary collaborations like this one. Was this always at the back of your mind that you were going to do this album? Not at all. I was going to do nothing. Uh, but at the start of lockdown, we'd just come from Australia in 2020, got to LA. I went to a restaurant, met Charlie for the first time, um, and he said, well, I live four doors away from you. Um, <laughs> if you feel like it, come up and write a song. I have a studio. So I went up to his house, and we wrote this song pretty quickly. And I came back to England, and people just started to ask me to play and sing on their records. And so the, the project grew and grew and grew till I had a germ of an album. And uh, that's how it started off. But it was Charlie's track, which was originally for his album that started the whole thing. 
OK, that idea of Elton John coming to your house, is yeah. that quite stressful? <laughs> um, it's, it's more interesting that we're four doors away no. from it. Yeah, I'm thinking great real estate for you. <laughs> I, I, I had a good eye three years ago. <laughs> but, uh, but is it true that Elton met your parents while he was at your house? Yeah, one of the proudest moments of my life is having... Uh, because they didn't know he was coming over, it was a bit cheeky. <laughs> and they came into my studio and you started explaining how you wrote Tiny Dancer to them and that just the, the... I've never seen my dad's face go completely pale. <laughs> but, like, he was so... It, it, you were so nice to them. And my mom's actually here now backstage. She's, she can't believe what's happening. It's cool. I mean, it's cool, isn't it? Yeah. It's very, very It's cool. Elton John. Yeah. And, uh, but I know Elton gave you some advice when he signed his autobiography for you. Yes. He said, uh, Dear Charlie... I opened the book up and it's a nice handwriting. He says, Dear Charlie, don't do any of this. <laughs> Love Elton. <laughs> I've read the book. That is good advice. <laughs> it's good advice. You, you had a lot of fun. And very quickly, uh, sadly, the, the leg of the tour that should be happening now, not happening, but it is back on track. Yes, this leg is not working. Um, <laughs> my leg is not working. Um, I'm having to have a, a hip replaced. Um, and by the time this show goes out, hopefully, it will have been replaced. Excellent. Um, and I'll be in rehab, and hopefully in a couple of months I'll be raring to go and, and retaking part in the World Limbo Championships. Okay. Excellent. Uh, well, listen, we look forward to you getting back on the road. Thank you so much for that beautiful performance. Uh, get well soon. I hope the recovery goes uh, brilliantly. Ladies and gentlemen, Elton John and Charlie Booth! Thank you. Woo! Take care, man.